Um, I think I drained the underworld by accident. Ah, a symphony of death. Hello friend, ever wondered what the entire world is worth if you sold every single thing in it? Well, welcome to one of the most painful videos ever made, where we find out how much the world is worth by mining everything manually. Yes, I am committing myself to mining and selling the entire world to answer the age-old question of how much the world is worth. There has been a few YouTubers who have done this before, but I'm curious to see if anything has changed in the 1.4 update. Will the world be worth more? Will it be worth less? Stay tuned to find out. I'm Zuzukorn and I aim to entertain you, encourage you, and offer you a place to call home. So subscribe now and join the Zuzukorn family. Let's begin. Clearly, this project is extremely laborious, and so I've turned to the help of some mods to make things slightly easier. All things considered, they do cut down some repetitive stuff, but the whole thing is still going to be a nightmare, I'm sure. Of course, it would be insanely tedious to manually sell each and every drop to an NPC shop over and over again, and our inventory would probably fill up in 30 seconds. To help me out with that, I've installed a mod that increases the maximum stack size to 9999, just for convenience. I've also managed to find an auto-selling mod, but even that's quite tedious in itself. So what that does is that it helps me sell whatever I've manually put into this box. So if I sold some wood by placing it in the box, it now registers wood in its auto-selling list. So when I pick up wood, it automatically gets sold. I've calibrated this mod to reflect default NPC pricing, so I'm ignoring happiness and stuff. You can always do some simple math afterwards if you're really curious about that. So this mod is a lifesaver, but I still need to sell things like this one by one at least once to register it. On the bright side, the more I do, the less I have to deal with as time passes. Also, to make sure I don't miss anything, I've also managed to find a magnet mod and turned up the radius of attraction. So it looks something like this. Neat, huh? Pretty satisfying if I have to be honest. The older Mining the Whole World videos also use the Drill Containment Unit, or DCU. It was the go-to back then, but that's so 1.3. We've got a new toy to play with on 1.4. That's right, the Celebration Mark II with Block Destroying Ammo. I don't think it really matters which Block Destroying Ammo you use, but I'll be grabbing mini nukes so I feel better. If you're curious about how this works, just watch. Amazing, huh? This sure beats the DCU by a long shot. With that, it's about time to get started. I've gotten rid of everything I have other than the Celebration Mark II and ammo, so let's go. We're going with a small world and a random world evil, so let's call it... I Love Money. Welcome to I Love Money. I do want to be a little systematic with this, so I think I'll start from the ocean first. I sense many hours ahead of me. So time to blow this sucker up. This is pretty therapeutic and we're making some pretty fast progress. We're nearing the underworld already. I just love this part, look at all the sand falling. Though I do have to go down and blow it up again. Maybe I'll just do it from the top down now. Hello, progress report time. We've barely made a dent in the world so far, but we've got some stuff to sell. Lots of gems and ores, which should be worth a decent amount. Since these are new items we've acquired, the manual selling and registration has to be done. I'll be saving the silk blocks to run through an extractinator later on as well. You can get lots of ores from that, so it's free money. From this one small strip of the world, we've gotten 36 gold already. That's more than I expected from such a tiny portion. Let's continue. Our very first chest. This is going to be really annoying. Since chests can't be destroyed if they have something in them, I have to manually open them, loot them, sell the loot, then get rid of the chest. The auto-selling mod doesn't work either unless I pick stuff up, and since looting a chest doesn't count, I have to manually sell it no matter what. Also, I've put in monster spawns at the default rate, so whatever mob drops we get will count in as well. Any nature lovers out there? I love trees! 
Here's the ice biome, which reminds me, I've got to keep the slush blocks too. Gotta squeeze every bit of money out of this world. I also realised that some walls are worth some money, so this haphazard mining method might not get all of it, but I think I might just leave that to human error. And here's the dungeon. Dungeon bricks won't explode now. I have no idea how I'm going to deal with that. I'll think of something. Hello, another progress report time. As you can see, it's nice to fly around now. We've done a really nice large area. You can see the outline of the dungeon. Very nice. Let's see what we've got so far. I think I'll be opening the herb bags because that's probably more accurate for the value of the world. These chest items though, they're so annoying to deal with. I wish you could just destroy chests and the stuff inside just spills out. We're up to about 2 platinum for now. On second thought, let me see if there's a mod for that. Well, 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 what do we have here? Destructible chest. But it does say that you lose your items though. So I think we should do some testing. Okay, so I've set up a chest here in a different world, and I'm going to put two wood in there. Now that we've got that done, the moment of truth. Beautiful! A total of four wood. Two from the platforms and two from inside the chest. Just one more test here, I'm going to put an ice rod in there. The celebration mark 2 should work as well. Once again, beautiful. The ice rod comes out. Of course, we have to rebuy that just to get rid of the 10 gold, but I'm glad this works. Now that we're back in I Love Money, let's see if I can find a chest. Okay, got one. Let's give it a test. That works really nicely. There is some delay before the magnet sucks it all in, but it does work properly with the auto sell mod. So this is amazing, I can actually turn off my brain now. Let me grab some desert fossils as well to bookmark so I don't forget. I'm also going to just get Skeletron out of the way just for convenience. And after selling everything up till now, we have 2 platinum and 48 gold. Ah, I just love the snow biome. Living in a tropical country just means that we don't get snow over here, so it's nice to see the beauty of winter getting destroyed. Hello again! It's been some time since the last report, and we've pretty much carved out the entire dungeon. So if you're wondering what a dungeon looks like, well there you go. I did miss a spot in there, but I'll deal with that later. Also, the chest explosion mod is working wonders. I haven't stopped to look at my inventory since. We're up to 3.5 platinum coins now, and we've got some things to sell again. Ooh, a gladius. This is nice. It's a pretty rare short sword that I quite like. It does 3 pokes at once, instead of 1. And look, a depth meter. How wonderful. More money for us. I think I might keep the gladius a while, for fun. I'm not too sure if there's a mod out there that lets me blow up explosion proof blocks, but I'll go look for one later. I'll also deal with the underworld later. Remember kids, a wise demolitionist once said, why purify the world when you can just blow it up? I'm happy to announce that he was right. I think it's only fair if we dispose of every brain that spawns before we move on. Just to maximize some loot drops, you know? Boop. Good night. We're actually getting full, what a surprise. Let's account for what we have before we blow up this mushroom biome. Some nice paintings, yes. Chrono devouring his lunch, very nice. A rally, an ice blade, not much. I might keep this extractinator for later though. We're up to 5.5 platinum now. And just in case you were curious to see how the auto cell function looks like. Here we go. It's nice really, seeing all the blocks fly in and get sold instantly while I'm exploding stuff. What a pleasure. This is peak therapy and stress relief. The whole sucky thing looks great as well. We've done it boys, the crimson is no more. Oh, look who I found. The useless bald man. He's slowly sinking as he lies face down on a surface of water. No idea how that works, but there you have it. You know, since he's being so interesting, I'm going to bring him to the underworld. Let's see how he likes the lava. Hey hey hey, here we are! 
Oh, lucky. Saved by the hellstone. Let's see how you like it when I release more lava. Hope you enjoy the... Wait, where'd he go? I could have sworn he was just right here. What the? Well, I'll figure it out when I edit the video. You win this time. Oh, and if you're curious, we've exploded this much of the world. Pretty nice, actually. It's been some time, but I stopped keeping track of how long it took already. I'd say maybe an hour and a half so far? No idea. We're up to 8 platinum already. And the demon scythe. It's about time to clear our inventory again. We have some boots, lots of statues, and some other stuff. This is such an annoying portion to blow up since the obsidian that forms is such a pain to deal with. Lo and behold, we have blown up half of the world so far. Looks like a little more than half, but I think it's an optical illusion. Let's check our progress at this halfway point. After selling everything we have, the value of the world so far is 10 platinum and 78 gold. That's pretty good if I'd say so myself. I'm predicting the whole entire value to be maybe 25 platinum or so, but we shall see. Hello, it's been two hours or more since I've started this, and I'm really starting to regret it. I need a celebration mark 3. Well, 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 what do we have here? Crazier celebration mark 2. Makes the celebration more like a zenith tier weapon. I like the sound of that. Let's see how much crazier it will be. That's not really what I was expecting. There's like, barely any difference. Well that stinks, it's literally the same. Well, let's just start on the other side I guess. I'm looking forward to destroying the underground desert. That place is pain. Complete pain. So it's my turn to dish out the pain. Oh, there's so much lava that the game barely knows what to do. It's funny really. It's time for another progress report. It's been slightly more than 3 hours and we've blown up another nice chunk of the world. There's more stuff to sell here, which is great. The more things I sell manually, the more things will get also sold by the mod. So back to work. Three and a half hours or so, I think, and we finished this portion of the world. All that's left is the jungle and the ocean. I honestly think it's been closer to four hours, but whatever. We have 16 platinum now, which is alright. He has returned once again. Let's go for another joyride. This time, you're not leaving my sight. Wow, he sure is taking his time. Oh, he's finally taking a rest. You like that, don't you? Are you too cold? You might like this one too. Ah yes, the sounds of bliss. This calls for celebration. I've yet to come across a single beehive. It's strange, really. I wonder where's the jungle temple too. Ah, <sighs> can't believe I'm going to have to mine something else manually. What a pain. And there we go, there's the jungle temple. I don't know how I'm going to get inside, but I'll think of something. And that's how a jungle temple looks like, if you were wondering. The shape and size does vary, but it's basically this. Nice, huh? Still no beehives though. And look, we found a nice little friend. You would not believe some of the things people throw at me. Wanna buy some of it? Sure. Oh my goodness, look at this amazing loot. Some bombs, and even some torches. Okay, I'll be moving along now. These people throw stuff at me too. Boop. Not anymore. Progress report, we've got 17 platinum now. Oh boy, my favourite part. Manually dragging all these things into this nice little box. Woohoo! The most exciting part of this video. Oh, I think we got our first beehive. My goodness, hear that unbearable squelching sound. Ah, the symphony of squashed bees. It's actually rather unnerving. And the bee queen is dead as well. We got a beekeeper from that. I mean, this is pretty fun, but the sound is so therapeutic, yet it sends shivers down my spine for some reason. Hello again, it's time for another report. We've got two step stools here. A menacing one at that. I think I'm going to keep this one just to teabag on the world later on. 
What? Didn't you know? The main purpose of the step stool in this game is to teabag. Oh, there we go, our second beehive. Still kind of discomforting. It's a nice big one though. It might have had two queen bees in there, but I guess it's too late now. Ah, a celebration of death. This is what I live for. You can still see all the honey that's flowing from just now. It's a pretty long trail, since honey is the most viscous liquid in the game. I just love pockets of lava and water like this, because I can just go like this, and then see the pocket disappear. Bye bye. We're almost done with the jungle now, and we have 20 platinum so far. So many things though, mostly queen bee drops. So let's get selling. And we have a grand total of 20 platinum and 80 gold. Okay, it's time for the final stretch. Just this ocean and we'll be done. Minus the non-explosive areas, of course. Hey, an idiot. I think I'm just going to let you sink. I'm not even going to bother accompanying you to hell. You'll be home soon, my sweet wretched child. There's actually so much water and lava flowing that the game just doesn't know what to do. It's not even making obsidian anymore. Pretty amusing to watch. The game just can't process what's happening. And there we go! Most of the world is now mined and sold, bringing our total value so far to 22 platinum coins. I can't seem to find a mod for blowing up dungeon bricks, so I might need to do it old school with the DCU. Oh my goodness, this is so slow. And the sound! It's so annoying! Listen. I have to do this with the dungeon and the temple. What a nightmare. You know what? I changed my mind. Since the blocks don't sell for anything anyway, I'm just going to celebration everything. The underworld and hellstone though, I don't think there's a way around that. I'm trying to get as much of the walls as I can, even though they don't sell for anything. I completely forgot about these. I think I'll have to manually unlock them before I can blow them up. What a pain. It's been 6 hours or so already, by the way. Alright, these. I think I'm just going to force spawn Plantera and then spawn in the keys to unlock them, since they are technically part of a pre-hard mode world. Okay, small problem. I just realized that I can't blow anything up using the celebration like this. So I guess I have to use the DCU to clear out every nook and cranny of the dungeon. It does help me break chests and furniture, so I guess that's convenient. Of course, I'll be stealing all the spikes too. There's going to be nothing left other than the bricks themselves. Okay, there we go. As you can see, I've taken bites out of every part of the dungeon, clearing every single furniture, painting, wall skeleton, chest, and checking all the breakable walls. Ah, I'm so tired. I've even checked the spaces between the dungeon for ores and pots. It's a pretty good job if I do say so myself. It's nice to see all the walls chewed up. Let's take stock of what we have again. We're already up to 24 platinum, so that's great. Let's sell a few other things to see how much the world plus the dungeon is worth. Okay, wow, the biome weapons are worth quite a lot here. That puts us up to 25 platinum. Oh, great. Time for the jungle temple, woohoo! For this one, I think I'll be using the same DCU approach, but I'll also be keeping all the lizard power cells to summon golem. We'll be seeing how many golems can be spawned by default as well. I know that wires are worth something, so I'll cut those up later on. Okay, there we go, the whole temple cleared. Let's see how many power cells we have. Four. That's an alright number. I can't summon golem right now because I haven't done any world progression, but I think I'm just going to force spawn him in. So let's have some fun. Four golems at once. Ta-da! Four golems worth of loot drops. You know what, let's steal the altar as well. You can sell that for money. Time for the wires. So wires are worth one silver each. That's pretty substantial. Let's see how much one temple's worth of wires are. Not bad. 4 gold and 30 silver from wires alone. If my math doesn't fail me, that's 430 pieces of wire. 
neat. And if you're wondering what an empty temple looks like, there you go, nice and clean. Oh no, they're angry that I stole all their stuff. Aww, it's okay my kind friend, I have a gift for you too. You like that? Okay, time for me to go to hell. Hello, here I am. I have no choice but to use the DCU to clear out Hellstone since I can't blow them up. So this is going to be pain. I think I might save all the Hellstone and sell them later. Might be interesting to see how much Hellstone there is in a small world. I've only done this for a bit and it already feels like a bad idea. There's just too much ash block and lava in the way. I think I might blow up everything with the celebration first, just once through to clean things up a little. I'll just get rid of all the large structures and deal with the paintings and furniture too. I saved up a shadow key for the chest as well, so that's convenient. I guess they've reached equilibrium in their obsidian prison. Blowing these up still makes the liquid flow again, so that's fun. Quite unnecessary to be honest though. But hey, if you wanted necessary, you wouldn't be watching this video. And there we go, every structure destroyed. Let's see how much money we have now. 28 platinum coins. That already exceeds what I expected, so we might even break 30 plat when we're done. Speaking of which, <sighs> let's get to work. I think it has been about 7 hours or more by now, but I guess we're almost done. You know what I just found out? If I equip the mining set, use a mining potion, grab an ancient chisel, and use a sunstone and all that, I mine this fast. And at a higher range too. It's much faster than the DCU, but a lot more sloppy. It is fun though, just look at that speed. This is crazy! I'll see you in an hour. Or two. Or three. Um, I just killed the wall of flesh on accident and... Uh... I can blow up Hellstone now. I feel like an idiot. Wait, don't tell me this works here too. Woo, okay, I'm not crazy. Oh my goodness, I'm still the biggest idiot ever. Well, that makes everything so much easier. Hello again, I've done more than half the world already, and I have 14,000 Hellstone. I'm really so glad that I killed the Wall of Flesh on accident. Praise the Moon Lord. Okay, this is the last bit. The game really didn't like all the lava falling, so it kind of froze a moment ago, and then all the lava suddenly collected at the bottom. I wasn't recording, but that was pretty cool. <sighs> and that's it. We have mined every bit of the world. Look, this portion is still flowing, but everything else is a nice flat lava pool. I'll just give it one last check and we can sell off the hellstone. Um, did you know that there's still so much hellstone below, off screen? It turns out that there's a whole layer down there, so I think I'll have to go from left to right, blowing it all up. Wow, there's actually so much down there. It's like sweeping under your carpet after 10 years. Okay, done. Let me just give it one last final check. I... I think I broke the game. I'm actually draining the lava below the underworld. It's... it's disappearing. You can do that? This is hilarious. The lava's going into the void. I call that an absolute win. I've essentially mined bedrock. Absolutely hilarious. Okay, it's the final stretch now. We have slightly over 28,000 Hellstone and 29 Platinum now. That already exceeds my expectations. Having sold everything, we have a grand total of 36 Platinum and 40 Gold. Amazing! Just one last thing to do, and that's to run all the blocks through the Extractinator. Luckily, if you realise, this is going at light speed. That's because I've installed a better Extractinator mod that greatly increases the extract speed. So, zoom zoom zoom. Look at all that money flying into me. It's pretty funny to look at. Even with this mod though, it's taking a pretty long time. So let me go find a weight or something for my mouse. 
Okay, the first stack is done, which amounts to roughly one platinum. That is pretty amazing. Let's do a full stack of 10,000 without stopping, just to see how much an entire stack can give us. See you in 5 minutes. Okay, I'm back from contemplating my life decisions. The stack is almost done. We have a total of... 2 platinum, 89 gold, 11 silver and 87 copper from one stack of 9,999 silk blocks. That's pretty amazing. Hey hey, new money farm idea. Just blow up the whole world and extract silt. Moving on to slush, we have... 68 gold. That's nice too, but not as fun. But we did get two amber mosquitoes from that. Last of all, the desert fossil. 53 gold, but with lots of sturdy fossils. Take that, world. Haha. -ha. Having sold everything, we have a grand total of 43 platinum and 65 gold. We are done! Okay, just kidding. I completely forgot about the Sky Islands. I'm honestly not gonna bother being clean with this, since cloud blocks aren't worth anything anyway. For real this time, our grand total is 43 platinum, 74 gold, 95 silver, and 60 copper coins. That, my friend, is the value of a small pre-hard mode world. Give or take a little for human error. So the world isn't worth that much, all things considered, but I guess it is pretty substantial. Now, that was an amazing experience. Would I do it again? Well, the answer is obviously Definitely, a clear and resounding, no. Never again. I can't believe I wasted my life doing that. Well, if you do have any other ideas for me to waste my life on, feel free to let me know down in the comments. If you are a person who knows how to make mods, um, please reach out to me via the comments or through the Discord server, link in the description. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon too for more Terraria and other stuff. This has been Zuzu Korin. Have a nice day, and have a great week ahead. Bye bye!